Hey you guys, welcome back to My Table 3 today. My name is Carrie, and today we're having Foodie Friday once again. And today I'm going to share a low-carb, Trim Healthy Mama-esque, gluten-free version of a classic, the Taco Ring, which basically is a play on um, the Pillsbury Crescent Roll ring that you see, uh, then put a lot of things in it. I do have a fajita ring as well as this taco ring on my blog. I will put those recipe links below to my blog so you can get those full recipes. Today I am going to be substituting, I usually use the fathead dough, or my version of the fathead dough, you know, the cheese dough with almond flour or baking blend, sometimes I use both, uh, to make that ring, but today I'm going to use a product that I found, or that my husband and I found at Walmart yesterday, and I thought, I'm going to turn this way so the glare is not as bad, I don't think it'll help. Maybe not. Anyway, we uh, filmed this product at Walmart yesterday. It is Just About Food brand cauliflower flour. Yep, very interesting, right? So, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about it. I've never used this product. This is not a sponsored video. This is strictly something that we saw yesterday um, at Walmart. And actually, this is Friday. Um, the week before you're seeing this. Today I released a simple recipe I do on a lot of my work nights. So if you haven't seen that simple recipe, it's an Instant Pot meal. Uh, check the link below as well. But today, yesterday was Thursday and we found this when we were out and about. So I thought, hey, I'm going to go ahead and make a recipe for our dinner tonight, which is a taco ring that we wanted for Friday night, and try to substitute this cauliflower in my fathead dough that I use. The reason I wanted to use that is because a lot of people ask me for like a nut alternative. Um, like they can't use coconut or almond flour and I never have an answer for that. Um, so I thought, hey, you know, this may work. So we're going to try it. It may fail, but you'll see it if it does. So a few things I've done, let me keep it in frame. A few things that I have done this morning to get my research done on this. I went ahead and um, looked at the website online and I'll tell you more about that. But right now I'm going to give you the ingredients and the nutritional value of everything compared to co uh, coconut flour and almond flour. So on, we'll start with calories first. And this is going to be one fourth cup of each kind of flour. So on the cauliflower flour, it is, it sounds so hard to say, but one fourth cup and it has one fat gram, which is awesome. Uh, not that fat's bad for you, but you know, sometimes with all the cheese in the dough, it's good not to add extra fat like you do with the others. Uh, it does have 20 carbs per um, fourth of a cup. Now we know all vegetables have carbs, right? So low, um, cauliflower is one of those lower ones because it also has eight grams of fiber. So to get net carbs, it would be 20 minus the eight. Uh, which would be 12 carbs, and it has 8 protein, so it's going to be 12 carbs per 1 fourth of a cup, okay? So if we compare this cauliflower flour from uh, Just About Food, which is gluten-free, to say almond meal or almond flour, which this is a brand, I usually... Um, go between this and another one uh I'll, you've seen my video before but this was the last one i bought at walmart now and we'll talk about price too but for one fourth of a cup of the almond flour it has seven fat grams three carbs and two fibers so one carb of this versus the 12 of this for the same amount um and take a look at the coconut flour uh, for a one-fourth cup, you have four fat grams, uh, 16 carbs, and 12 fiber, so four carbs. So four carbs and two fat grams to a fourth of a cup. This one had six, had two carbs per fourth of a cup. So definitely the cauliflower has more carbs because it is a vegetable compared to the nuts. However, we're trying this to experiment for my nut-free and allergy, um, nut-free readers that have allergies either from themselves or children. Or if you want to cut back on the fat, say, you know, you don't want to do the nuts, you can do this because those add up too because you do use three-fourths of a cup of the almond flour. So it would actually be... A little bit more, but so I have a few questions about this. I'm not sure how it's going to work. They do have a pizza crust recipe on the back, but it's not anything like ours, so I'm going to skip that. 
And I will tell you, I have I have reached out to the company because I have quite a few questions um, for them that I couldn't get answered. I checked out their website, but it looks like they're fairly new. And I'm sorry about my glare, guys. They're fairly new, so there's not a lot of information. In fact, you can't even I'm gonna smell this if I can get it open. You can't even click on the items to see if they pull up to read more about them. It is sourced and I already smell it. It's sourced in Mexico and distributed in um, San Diego, California. So yeah, I, I didn't find the questions I had, which I'll let you guys know at the end of the video if I hear back from them and what they say. I'm gonna smell it. Oh, okay. Smells like cauliflower. You, you guys know how cauliflower smells when you cook it in your home. It smells just like that. Yeah, definitely cauliflower. Um, I don't know if you could see down in there. You probably can see it. It's kind of like a nutritional yeast color. Maybe not quite as yellow. I'll show you when I add it to the dough. So, yeah, the smell is not the best thing. So, I'm not sure how it would work for sweet items. But I may try it later on. I think I actually... There's not a lot of recipes out there for it. So, this is going to be... A huge like leap of faith for me so I thought I would try it for you guys and see how it goes now before we jump in the kitchen and try this I want to tell you about price because um, compared to the coconut flour that I buy and the almond brands both of the brands that I buy at Walmart this is considerably more expensive which you know if you have a nut allergy this may be worth it to you we do not so the coconut flour and the almond flour definitely pan out for us as far as price. This is a one pound bag. It is $9.88 at our neighborhood market. Um, we have a large super center too, but I'm assuming it's probably going to be about the same because they generally are. Compared to the almond flour that I buy there, the almond flour is a two pound bag for $11.88. And I think the Walmart brand is $10.74 if I'm not right. But two pounds versus one pound so definitely more expensive twice if not more of coconut flour because this uh i think i paid about five bucks for a pound of coconut flour you guys know it <clears throat> excuse me it goes a long way because it's very absorbent so you don't use as much as that so yeah so as far as price and carbs it's definitely higher both price and carbs compared to our traditional uh flour substitutions that i typically use in my restaurant recipes so i'm not going to ramble too long because i'm trying to keep this video fairly short it's going to be longer than the last one but i wanted to share this information since it's new to me maybe it's new to you let me know in below if you've used it but now let's get in the kitchen and start our recipe for our taco ring with our fathead dough using this cauliflower flour fingers crossed could, that it works because i'm really nervous about this one guys okay guys so it is actually a few days after i filmed that little bit talking about Actually, it's a week later. It's the next Friday. I just wanted to sit down and record this before I run pick up my grocery haul from Walmart, <clears throat> which you'll see next Friday in my grocery haul. But back to the cauliflower flour. So in the clips that you just saw, I talked about using it in my taco ring, which is a recipe on my blog, and I'll link that recipe below. I did not I did film it but I don't think I'm going to include it in this clip I may in this video I may include a picture or two of it but I wanted to talk to you about it because it was an absolute flop uh, and I told you guys you would know if it was but th there's two reasons actually that it flopped and I can't blame it all on the cauliflower I <laughs> did not follow my recipe like I should have. Now, as far as the dough, the fathead dough, I did, except for I substituted the flour from the almond meal or the baking meal. But as far as um, the way you cut the dough for the um, taco ring, I just botched it up. Like, literally botched my own recipe up. So, you are supposed to cut the triangles in the shape of, like, triangles. In the shape of, like, when you roll a crescent dough out, you know how it's narrow and it gets wider? Well, just watch the video that I will link below that shows you how I do the fajita ring and you'll see how the correct way to do it because I didn't do that I just cut triangles and tried to fold it over it was a mess okay so 
that's one reason I'm not going to show up because it ended up being like 20 minutes and I don't want to do that because I'll just show you some pictures at the end. Now, on to the reason I do not like the way the cauliflower works is because one, it turns it a very brown color, like a wheat dough. If you've ever made bread or if you've seen bread, you can buy wheat bread, how brown it is. This flower actually turns it that color. And you'll, I'll show you some clips or something so you'll see. Uh, like I mentioned before, it does smell extremely, well, it's cauliflower. It smells like cauliflower, and it tastes like cauliflower. So if you don't like cauliflower, do not buy this because it's cauliflower. That's all it is, so evidently it's going to taste, and I mean, obviously it's going to taste and smell like cauliflower. So the taco ring, it, okay, so I added the same amount I would of almond flour, and, um, the air fryer going off. My husband's warming some up for breakfast. Anyway, so um, I added the same amount and instantly I could tell it was drier. So the dough, not only did it turn really dark brown, but it also got real thick. And uh, so, but it did still roll out good. It still rolled out fine. Um, it cut, it folded over without breaking. So the part of the dough, as far as texture and all that, it worked fine. Now, when it baked up, the fathead dough actually bakes up and tastes um, or feels kind of like a bready dough and it has a firm texture. The cauliflower flour did not, it was more mushy, I guess. It did not fall apart. It did hold together. So that's a plus, but it did taste like cauliflower, guys. It didn't really taste like, the fat head dough is very neutral, so you can flavor it any kind you want to, and then it kind of, you can taste the taco meat and all that. To me, the cauliflower flavor of this flour overpowered that. So I, it was not horrible. We ate it for dinner, obviously, because I'm not going to waste anything. But my son actually gave good reviews, which was a shocker to us, because he's usually the one, you know how kids are, they're usually the ones you have to please. But he actually ate um, some for dinner, and he actually warmed some up the next day for lunch and ate the leftovers. So uh, my husband and I agreed that it's, we won't be using it for the fathead dough anymore, uh, and I would definitely recommend no sweet items. I read a post somewhere where someone tried, finally found a post where people tried to use a, do a vanilla cake with it, and, and you know, you can just imagine how that went. But if I can remember, I'll try and post that art below. But I can't promise I'll remember. Now, on the positive side, I did, I have discovered in the week since I shot the taco video, I have been working and developing on a cauliflower cake, kind of like a potato cake that you put together and you fry. Um, so I've been working on that using this and eggs as a binder. And... It honestly turned out so good. Now, the first time I did, I tried to fry it on the, in, on the, in a pan on the stove. Well, that fell apart. But I'm working on some air fryer recipes for you guys and for the blog, um, which I'll also be doing talking more about in November for um, Foodie Friday. I'll be focusing on uh, the air fryer and things like that, even reviewing one for you guys. But... Yeah, so it works extremely well in the air fryer. So I'm doing a little bit more tweaking, um, like trying to see if they freeze well, how long to cook them, if you have to flip them, things like that. And then I'm going to share that recipe with you in November. So watch out for that. Um, but yeah, so that's my overall thoughts about the cauliflower flour. I mean, if you like it, and you need a nut alternative in a fathead dough, then I would say give it a try. But remember, it is $10 a pound, so if you don't like cauliflower, I don't advise spending the money on it because it definitely, it has the flavor, the smell of cauliflower. The only thing I don't understand is why it's brown or why it turns everything brown because cauliflower is kind of like a white off-white, but who knows, maybe it's an oxidation kind of thing. But anyway, for what it's worth, there's my opinion of this product that I found at Walmart. Again, this is not a sponsored video. I hope you enjoyed this recipe, uh, or actually this review of this product. And I think if I haven't already, I'll try and show you a couple of pictures of the taco ring. But remember, I didn't do it right. So the original recipe, go to my blog and check it out. You'll see how great it looks, and it tastes amazing. So, yeah, there you have it, guys. If you have tried it, let me know. You know, and we'll see. And I'll continue to try and develop things with it and let you know as that happens. So, thanks for watching this Foodie Friday video. And I'll, show, I'll see you next Friday for my grocery haul and my...